And this is what we've been watching so far. The dominance of Chinese Taipei, Chou Tian Chen, coming good in men's singles, then in men's doubles as well. The world number three is Li Yang and Wang Chi Lin, emphatic victors in straight games, all of them so far, favoring the uh, Taiwanese. Next up is men's singles, Wang Su Wei against Kumlavut Viditsaran. Can the young Thai stand out? As world number 23, can he throw a spanner in the works and detain the man from Chinese Taipei, who so far are playing really, really well. That's what's coming up, men's singles, the second men's singles of three that we'll be bringing you today. Wang Su Wei takes the court against Kunlavut Viditsan. Here is Wang Tzu Wei on his way. Won his first international title at 2014 New Zealand Open. But then five years later, it was where he took his biggest tour title, Sayed Modi. And here is young 20-year-old Kunlavut Viditsaran. A man who had a sparkling junior career. That's 20 years of age. First meeting between these two, so we don't know what we're going to get, which is always exciting. Funky mask. Fritz Sam won the toss, but I couldn't hear what was said. It was all a bit quick for me. But I do know, judging from that gesture, that Wang Suwei is staying at the end that he arrived at on court. At the far end of the court for the world number 11. Can he build on his compatriots' good fortune and well-earned wins? The world number 11, who's been a top tenner, he broke into that uh, top 10 group, that exclusive group back in February 2021, earlier this year, where he reached uh, nine in the world. 26 years of age. He's uh, played 12 matches this year, won eight of them, lost four. Five foot ten, he stands at one metre 78. As I say, just two spots off that career high. And of course, he won that uh, big Super 300 level title at the Syed Modi International. A couple of years ago, 2019, way down. Surab Verma in the final. His opponent, six years younger. Three times the boys' singles champion at the World Junior Championships in 2017, 18 and 19. He's five centimetres shorter. He's Kunlavut. Only one of the singles players achieved that honours of uh, thrice junior champion. Jürgen practice of Germany in the chair. Seamus Halpin just uh, opposite him as the service judge. Yeah, so Kunlavut Viditsan was also the uh, Swiss Open runner-up. In week nine of this year, and in week eight, just the week prior, the Spain Masters runner-up as well. Both times to Victor Axelsson, so no shame there. And more poignantly as well, Kunlavut uh, with a win over Kidambi Srikanth last week in straight games. And also Shi Yu Chi, cracking win there. Straight game win, both are 17s. 21-17, 21-17, I should say. 52 minutes needed against the uh, Chinese former world number two. But he lost to Heo Kuang He, having come really close. I think it was that 19, 16 up in that last deciding game to the Korean number one. He lost it after an hour and 17. So he had a lot of experience last week. And 
He is battle hardened, whereas one two way didn't play. So for Wang Sui, his last competitive showing was at the Tokyo Olympics, where he made the round of 16. It was a 46 minutes encounter against Victor Axelsson that he lost on Suey. Victor, of course, the overall Olympic champion. That was at the uh, Musashino Forest Sports Plaza. Court two. But he had, had a couple of wins to get there, which was encouraging. Prior to that, he was cited at the uh, HSBC PWF World Tour Finals in Thailand at the top of the year. Where he downed uh, Angus and Karlong, Kudambi Shukant, and Anna's Antonsen as well, the second seed in Group B. Eventually lost to Antonsen in the end. In an hour and 20 minutes in a second showing against the Dane in the semi finals. Quarter finals at the Toyota Thailand Open as well for Wang Sue. It's a very accomplished player. Although you wouldn't think so with that little snatch miss. <laughs> so easy to do. And a wry smile of frustration. Son, a very tough, very determined, focused competitor. just gone wide but it's always tricky when you're meeting somebody for the first time as much as you'll have studied footage on them on you know various social media sites YouTube and what have you there's nothing like quite getting the other side of the court against them and really feeling how it feels and it's going to be a tough ask for Wang Sui there's no doubting that against the world number 23 but on paper he should come through it that Vidisan is uh, razor sharp from all of his 
industry and endeavour last week. Always be called wide. Now, this is interesting. This is tight. Wang Suwei electing to go upstairs for the first challenge of the match. Uh, he's got a case here, you know. He might have just kissed the edge of the line. I'll tell you what, you, it makes you wonder how we ever managed without technology, didn't it, before this? Let's take a look. I'm really curious. Oh, in fact, it's quite well wide, but I guess it's the angle that it shot across the line out. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Oh yes, quick to pounce and offers a hand of apology as well. Would he do it again? Of course he would immediately, but it's just one of those things you... It's a nice gesture, showing compassion. Got him right on the head. And mercifully, not near the eye. Keeping the pressure on is Kunlavut Viditsan. Oh, beautifully done. Really nice straight net shot from Kunlavut. Weighted to perfection. Away enjoying the net encounter that time. Oh, beautifully done. Like a half smash, that wasn't it? Really well weighted, just carving around the side of the ball with real authority. Good in defence here. And that was beautiful.
missed it. Oh, OK, so there's some beads of perspiration on the Wang Suwe side of the net that he wants mopped up. Coach murmuring something under his mask. Play. To his charge. Service over. Staying in touch, this is called. It's been a hard fought early. 17 points between these two. Wang Sue with a searing straight smash. Levels the scoreboard. Strong arms his way through that point. Bossy Badminton again from Wang Sue. Plenty of heat on the smashes just to keep this uh, really quick Thailand athlete on the back foot. And just got behind him. Late contact. So went away with uh, three consecutive points in a row then. Can he get to the turn first? That's the question on everybody's lips. And you sense now that Thailand in a, not a desperate situation, but this is a match that Vititsan has to win. In fact, they need to win the next three to win the tie. Doctor's out again, familiar look. He's often in this kind of predicament. He defends his court vigorously, throws himself around at every opportunity. As you do when you're 20 years old, free and fearless. And uh, well, those knuckles tend to get shredded from time to time. <laughs> it's a familiar look for him. Delving deep into the medical kit bag is the doctor. Yeah, we saw some of that uh, familiar red tape on the finger of Cantafon Wangtron earlier in the opening men's singles where he lost to Chu Tian Chen. 18 and 20 in the end. So running repairs ongoing. Wang Sui keen and ready to resume. Wants to keep the float. He's on three in a row. Yeah, she doesn't want to fix it too tight around his knuckle because, of course, it'll inhibit his uh, ability to bend his finger and, of course, feel the racket, one would imagine.
Well, you see the little bit of ink on the uh, butt of the shuttle, all the stencil ink from the string bed of the uh, athletes. And there's normally a den of stringers not too far from the arena. They're always busy at work. They were just behind the field of play last week in Vanta, Sudaman Cup. There was a whole army of them just uh, keeping busy. These athletes utterly professional in the way that they lay up their rackets. Oh, yes, keeping on the front foot, but has it gone long? Let's have a look. Kunlevo Viditan was really all over that, and, but just couldn't put the point to bed. Let's see if he did spray slightly long in the end. The call was that it was out. Yeah, it was indeed. Oh, hang on. No, he's found the line. Look at that. Great challenge from Kunlevo. Ten, Pleased with that. Bringing deadlock to this tight opening game yet again. And stopping the run of momentum at three consecutive points for once away. This has been really tightly fought, this opening. Passages of play here on show court one, match three. Oh yes, carves across the shuttle, another half smash from the top draw from Wang Suwei, who secures four from the last five points. Heads out to the turn, 11-10 to the good. Well, it was a fantastic clear about three shots ago that set the point up beautifully from Vidisan. Impeccable pace and accuracy, perfectly weighted. And in the end, going on just to engineer a terrific point thereafter. Really well built. He's pleased with himself there. He is just the model of persistence and determination. And it's gone long as well, and I'll tell you what, that went over Shi Yu Chi, serving him very, very well. Oh, 
It was a straight game affair. A couple of 17s he won, 52 minutes at the Energia Arena in Vanta last week on Wednesday the 29th. That's <laughs> deceptively brilliant, wasn't it, from Wang Tsui there. And having to dig really deep in his skill bank for that. Well, the string went right at the top of the string bed and uh, it rendered the situation uncontrollable for Wang Tsui. So he'll obviously change that for a fresh restring. And be frustrated with that because he was driving the point along nicely. Oh, it's as if he's really enjoying this, isn't he? He's weaving his web, his Vitisaran, very cleverly. And he might only be 20 years old, but I tell you what, he's a really cagey tactician, this youngster. Doesn't miss a trick. Thumbs up. Good job. Keep it going. Cut and paste. Well, that was palms down by the Lions judge, but again, it's been challenged by Wang Sui. Yeah, it was called in, but uh, Wang thought it was long. And he had a pretty good look at it, let's be honest. Good job, Lions judge. Credit where credit's due, and that was bang on. All it's got to do is no kiss a tiniest remaining. slither of the line. And that definitely in. Good pace there from Wang Sui. Can he keep it up? Needs to. Important moments upcoming. Oh, it's brilliant from Vitisaran. Top badminton here at the Ceres Arena. That was standout. 17-14. Mesmerizing touch and control here. Under pressure, straining every sinew at full stretch. Great end range control. Well, so I can barely believe it. What do I have to do?
Longest round of the match, 38 shots. Matthijs come through, he's turning the screw. A heady run for this man at 12 points all when he went 16-12. Four in a row for Kunlavut Vititsar. Good patience from one. Just seems tireless, doesn't he, Vidasan? Oh, brilliant. Oh, it's been called wide. And no challenge from Vidasan. Thought he'd found that one momentarily. Wang showing a lot of character. What else can he muster at the sharp end of this opening game? Oh, he's missed that as well. Two in the same spot. A little lapse in concentration. Oh, it's bobbled over the side of Chinese Taipei. Little moment of good fortune here from Kunla Vutviditsan. While he was proactive, he did engineer that. He felt he was uh, deserved a moment of good fortune. Draws level. Into the real heat they go, these two. Who's going to blink first at 18 points all? Oh, that's called wide as well. Three in a row down that line have just missed by mere millimetres. That'll frustrate Viditar, who's rolled the dice and just come out the wrong side now. And Wang close in and secure this all-important opening game. <laughs> but if there's one thing this young man in light blue is, it is absolutely steadfast in his determination he will keep coming at you it's just relentless it's his calling card his focus and determination quite something 
Well, I, I guess you don't get to uh, win three junior world titles. For nothing. High cry of delight from their fan base courtside. And Vidisan has craftily engineered a game point opportunity here. That's a crazy good point from both players. Terrific touch from one to away. Vidasan almost made that as well. This one here, look how good this is. Top draw badminton here from the Ceres Arena in Denmark. Doesn't get better than this. Deadlock again in this very tight opening game. A game in which Viditsan has had a generous 16-12 lead. But he's really grappling with Wang Tsue here, the world number 11. Oh, it's gone long. Once away, a grimace from him. That's a huge miss. 21. 20. Having had the point on his racket there, things were looking really bright for him. But in the end, couldn't get across the line. So it's a second game point opportunity for Viditan. in. What accuracy on the cross smash from once away. Picked his spot in his mind's eye, unleashed the fury and found it. Almost like a sort of three-quarter smash, wasn't it? But enough to get it done. It has been so hard fought this opening game. Turn around from one to eight. Who's saved a couple of game points against him. And now he's got a game point opportunity of his own. Can he put this opening game to bed on his terms? Well, he's going to serve for it.
Well done. Not for the faint-hearted, this opening game. <laughs> Deadlock again out here. Well, he's had a game point. There's one to away. Vitatan's had two. What next in this roller coaster opener? Oh, yes. Well dispatched. Is it third time lucky for Kunlavut Veditsan? He wants a fresh shuttle to serve with. He's contested a lot of these tight moments over the last uh, couple of weeks. What has he learned? That's brilliant. Absolutely outstanding. Last week he down Shi Yu Chi. And this week he's halfway towards downing Wang Su Wei. He snatches the opening game, does Kun Lavut Vititsan on his third game point opportunity. Coming through 24 22 in 36 minutes.他就是點殺點殺的。Well, how much does Wang Suwei have in his locker? He's fresh, he didn't contest the Sudaman Cup, so he's got the legs for it, there's no doubting that. But uh, he's up against one of the most tenacious terriers from Thailand in the world game. Kun Lavut Viditsan, who needed three game points to get across the line there in that opener. Always up for a long scrap. There was hesitancy there, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Over the body language of Wang Tsui. He seemed to change his mind. 
Easy pickings. start from Kunla Vititsar keeping the pressure on his uh, world number 11 opponent and it'll be interesting to see if he can close this out in straight games unfazed by the higher ranking of the former top tenor Brilliant. It bobbled over the top of the net and once away is down. He just wants that area swept and a moment to step off stage. Look at this, giving his all, but to no avail in the end. He cleared the net, but it going wide. Can't switch off for a second against opponent like Viditan. That's gone wide as well. And Wansuwe wants a challenge. The first of this second game. He thinks he's found the edge of the line. He's got a case. It was pretty close. Yeah, great challenge. So he's on the board in game two. Can he build from here? Four, four points adrift at the moment. Obviously touch the net. Yeah, good pace with the straight smash from the tight. A nod of acknowledgement to his coach at the back of the court as if to suggest, I've got this under control. Looks in good shape, doesn't he? Captain's role in all of this is such a tough one, isn't it? You've got to think about the team as a collective. Your priority is obviously to win the tie. You know, you want the whole time of your strongest players, exposure of the future players and their development as well. You've got nurse egos, bruiser, bruised losses. You've got to be rather compassionate in that regard. And He's got out of jail again, has Viditar. Somehow, what a turnaround that was. 
What defense. Certainly playing with so much patience, the Thai warrior. So difficult to score points against him when he's in this kind of mood. Gets another. Months away, momentarily building momentum with three successive points. Stops right there, according to Bittasan, who's keen to Keep a generous cushion on the scoreboard. Many lapses, does he, with the sun? Pretty solid with his concentration, pretty dependable. Very focused, very pretty undemonstrative when he plays. Little fist pump there, it's all quite subtle, just gets on with the job ever professional. That's why the tie is so excited about him. 11 7 and a game to the good, kind of with uh, Vidisan in the driving seat here against the world number 11. Wang Sui's got to be really careful here. He doesn't cut himself adrift. He's got to knuckle down right now and nibble away at this deficit on the scoreboard. Otherwise, he's out of there. Brilliant. Well finished. Each of these points hard earned. Very little freebies from the Thai standout.
Well, he's smiling, but I bet he's frustrated inside. What a rare unforced error from Vidisan on the front foot. But he looks unfazed. Good poker player he'd make. Same body language, same look, whether he's uh, leading generously or losing generously. That's a super response to that last unforced error from Vidisan. He turns the screw once again. Good leave there as well. Good leave from Wang Sui. Veditan challenges though. Yeah, long way out. He probably knew it, but just wanted a slurp and a towel down, a chance to collect his thoughts. One challenge remaining. He's okay, he's still got another challenge remaining and there's, uh, you know, he's heading down the home straight in his mind anyhow. That's adequate, that's all he needs. That's his train of thought right now. Right, now can he squeeze or can once away find a way back in here? Oh yes, really good from Vidisan. Lift away was short and he got the treatment. He's setting sail for home right now. This would be another big scalp for Kunlovut Vidisan. Former top 10 player, all he can do is smile, but he's in pain inside. Yeah, 
closing with real speed there, Wang away. Speed of desperation, because time is running out. And he needs his very, very best right now. That was a good start. Can he build? Managed to run a three in the second game, one Tsue, but that's it. His opponent runs a five and four. And there is another timely point for the world number 11. And indeed, a second run of three points. He's having to keep his foot to the floor right now. He's got that one as well. High class badminton on show court one. Well dispatched. Down the line, or has he? Well, in my mind's eye, it seemed to just drop just the right time onto the line, I was going to say, but it's not. And a great challenge from Wang Suwei and a timely lifeline for the men's singles number two from Chinese Taipei. So that's a handful of consecutive points for Wang Suwei right now. And he's still got work to do. He's up the pace. Significantly, the world number 11. And he's not done with this contest just yet. Insistent. Stopping the run of points at six 19, for Wang Suwei. Who was uber determined there, staying in the point but unable in the end. Too great was the tie pressure. Is something very, very special from Kunlavut Vitisar as he sends his opponent to the deck. Look at the deception there. That is top draw from the Thai warrior. Thank you. Nothing Wang Suwei can do other than smile at that. Three match points for Vitisar.
a spellbinding end to a terrific performance and eventually a little emotion comes across the face of Kunla Vuditsar, a second top 15 win in 10 days for this Thai fast riser. And he keeps the tyre afloat with a win. Thailand 1-2 now in the overall scheme of things. There's confirmation of the scoreline, 24-22, 21-17. On the hour mark, he downs the world number 11, Wang Su Wei, does Kunlavut Viditsan in a really terrific showing of mesmerising badminton. Rock solid throughout. He had a generous 18-11 lead in game two. He was pegged back to 18-17, but then ran out the winner with three successive points to get across the line. He's just great to watch, isn't he? The world number 23, Kunlavut Viditsan, finds a way through against the world number 11. And the ties go 1-2 in the overall race to three. He keeps them on the board and interested and more to come. Really good win for Viditsan there. And this is how he did it. Such great touch at the net. What an all-round game this young man has. Just 20 years of age, Viditsan. Standout junior career. Up next, we will have men's doubles for you. That's going to be between Li Zhe Hui and Yang Po Swan against uh, Kitanapon Kedron and Dechipol Pavanukro. So that's not too far away, but the ties are still afloat. Don't go too far.